everyone, another five minutes of fitness and today it's all about shoulder girdle strength and stability and core. So it's floor based, we will be doing from the forearms a plank to pike. From the hands we'll do a mountain climber unless you want to elevate that and then you can do that on the hands or the forearms and from the elbow we'll be doing a side plank lift just to make sure that we're not going to over stress the wrists particularly, because that can be really uncomfortable. So we're gonna start with our forearm, plank to pike. We've done it before. And we're gonna do 20 of everything. And then we're gonna just keep it going in a loop until my watch buzzes. Are you ready? <clears throat> so we've got the forearms down on the floor. I tend to go onto my little finger edge, but you don't have to. Shoulders drawn away from the ears, shoulders directly over the elbows, pressing into a plank. So remember, we don't want our bottom up here, we're gonna get there, but not immediately. So on the outward breath, maintaining length in the back of the neck, push back, pull forward, breathe in. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Feel that little pull of the abdominals as you pull forward. Don't want it too fast, want to keep it really smooth. And again, just mind the shoulders, don't sink. Keep lifting up, think of lengthening through, legs nice and strong. We're nearly there. One more. Lovely. Okay, from here onto the hands, or as I say, you can elevate it. Alternating the legs, 10 on each side, into our heel climb. You could take it a little quicker if you wanted to, but there's no reason. You can just pull that knee through, firmly pressing from the floor with the hands. That's got to be about right. And then bringing it to the side. <clears throat> Again, forearms, elbow underneath the shoulders. Have the knees bent, top hand just behind the head. Take care not to push the head forward. And then from here, press and lift, and lift, lift. You want to feel like somebody's pulling you up from the side of your pants. If they get tension in the neck, just turn the head. 14, keep going, hips nice and high. Lovely, and down. Give that a little shrug out. We're gonna do it all again, going back to our plank to pike. So remember this is a great exercise that you could, or a little trio that you could add on to any of the other workouts. Abdominals drawing in. Making sure you come to that parallel line. If you find that this is too troublesome, you could just hold plank. Halfway. Keep pressing out of the shoulders, try not to sink. And definitely not letting that low back hollow out as you pull forward. Last one. Lovely. You probably will have felt that around your shoulders. Bring yourself through to your hands, toes, elevate if you want. Body weight stays forward. Lovely. Okay, on to the other side. <coughs> Elbow directly below the shoulder. Lift up nice and tall. Press firmly into those bent legs. Lift. Now it's really easy to sink into the shoulder. So make every effort to press up and out. Turn the head if you feel a bit neckish.
Again, lifting from the side of the hip, high as you can. That's four, three, two, one, and release. Ah. Give those shoulders a bit of a shrug out. You're done, and I'll see you again tomorrow.